it may take a while. Oh yeah, it will. Hello guys and welcome to TGM the Game Nerd, the show where I talk about open games and today we're going to be playing Sonic Adventure. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and went through Sky Chase Act 2 and hopped aboard the Egg Carrier. And in this episode, I didn't want to jump onto that thing because it would interrupt my intro, but now I have to climb all the way back up. Luckily, Sonic Spin Dash is extremely helpful. Yeah, now let's just go ahead and hop on over here and start a cutscene. I love how he, during the cutscene he turns around because his character model is on a slope and standing still. It's super weird, but... Welcome to the Sky Deck. So this is one where we're now on the Egg Carrier and we're on our way to chase after Eggman. And this one starts out pretty cool because you immediately have these cannons shooting out lasers at you. You gotta run quickly past him. You just wanna jump across these different things, and actually, if you're good enough, unlike me, <laughs> you can get to a higher path. But, you know, I'm not gonna try to test my luck. I say as I test my luck and then immediately die. <laughs> That's why I don't test my luck. Okay, we're back here. This time, I'm actually going to be competent for once. You just want to do what the game tells you to do, and just follow along. Unlike what I did there, where I accidentally clipped through the floor. That was actually a pretty cool part where Sonic's just running on the ceiling. Anyways, we get some speed shoes, and we have to run down this little section, or we can just... I missed. I really need to listen to my own advice, because the second I start trying to go off course and doing my own stuff, I start sucking. Granted, I already suck anyway, as you can see right here at this totally awesome display of skill. But, but yeah, just follow what the game wants you to do and you'll have a fun time. I sometimes have a bit of trouble with this part, just because I'm bad at timing stuff when it comes to those balls. Like, right there, I just barely missed it. Anyways, these monkey bars turn into a swing and allow you to go right on over here. There are a couple of different, like, floors, I guess, or like layers. I don't know the proper terminology. Either way, you probably just want to be on the top as much as you can. We have this giant laser shooter right over here. Cannon, I should say. Laser cannon. And you just want to walk around it because over here, you can't really see it because of draw distance, but there's a thing that we need to press that allows us to destroy this cannon. Right here. Then we suddenly get sent to this part of the ship. And the gimmick here is that there's going to be a bunch of strong winds, and so when the strong winds come, you need to grab onto something. Typically, my my go-to when it comes to this is to just rush through it as quickly as possible. But it's probably better to try to hang on to the 
little things that they give you in order to stay clear of the wind. I got shot off. I sometimes have trouble with this next part. Sky Dex, like, I don't know how unpopular of an opinion this is, but Sky Dex, like, okay in terms of stages. Uh, maybe I'm just okay at play. And by okay, I mean like. You ever notice how, like... Okay, I don't feel like that's my fault. At least, not fully my fault. You ever notice how, like, sometimes okay means different things? Like, okay is supposed to mean, like, meh, like, in the middle. But people sometimes use okay to mean, like, bad. I guess it's just people trying to be polite. Anyways, we have this rocket right here, and you want to shoot the center of the laser cannon and you get sent to the third part of this stage that's the proper term right stage it's been a while since i last recorded so a uh, zone that's the correct one I, I don't know why i was thinking of stage i'll flash up on screen what i was thinking about i like this part because it's all tilted and twisty but also it could be sometimes a bit hard to control so You just want to skip over that enemy right there, and then you want to stand right here in the center, and when one of the little cranes, like one of the little hook-looking things, comes by, you just want to grab onto it and ride it over to the other side. Now you could go up there normally by platforming onto those moving platforms, or you could be really cool with Sonic Spin Dash and just skip right over there. Now I'm going to try a skip that I'm not very good at, so we'll see... Okay, that was a complete fail. I tried to put it up on screen uh, what I was talking about. Like, I'll see if I could grab some footage myself, or maybe I'll have to use another person's footage. If so, you know, of course, credits will go up at the uh, bottom of the screen and in the description below, so you can easily reach the video. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. I guess I just really need to focus on this part, because this is... Because this is the latter half of Sonic's story, and so some of the stages can get a bit harder, and I'm not very good at the game when I'm not focusing hard on it, so be right back. Okay, this is just unfair. I'm springing up, but objects keep coming down, and like I, I don't even have to be close to them. They'll just knock me down. Okay, now we're back up to this checkpoint, and I'm going to focus really hard on this part because it's super weird. This game is, I swear, whenever I'm recording this, it's like 10 times more glitchy than it is normally. Like, I've never recorded a Let's Play for this, but whenever I see Let's Plays of someone like, playing it and it's all super glitchy and stuff, I'm like, oh, this is clearly, like, they're purposely going for glitches and stuff like that. But now that I'm having to commentate and play the game, for some reason I'm just seeing a lot more glitches than I normally do. But anyway, that's the end of the Sky Deck. I don't know why I said that all weird, I was just, I almost said Sky Chase, but I was like, wait, that's not the thing. Although Sky Chase would also work as a title for this zone. Is that it? It might be, but let's check out the bridge. So to get over to the bridge, you just want to hop inside of this little... I'm not really sure what this is, but it takes us up to the top of the ship and therefore the bridge.
Our second player character boss fight, is it any tougher than the first one? Not really, just have to wait a bit longer in between attacks. Now the ship is going down and everyone's making their escape. If I'm to continue, I need to change this ship back to its original shape. There must be a switch somewhere on the bridge. I've got to find it now. Thankfully, the switch that he's looking for is right over here. However, we can only access it with the light speed dash. Which makes you wonder how uh, Eggman gets up here. Well, I guess it's just he uses his uh, flying car thing, the Eggomatic, I think it's called. Or the Eggmobile. I've heard it called different things from different sources. Now we've changed it back into its normal just ship. We've changed it back into ship shape. Or, I don't know if that was worded properly. Anyways, now it's time for, I don't know if we've seen him before, or if this is our first introduction to him in Sonic's story, but inter let's introduce a character who is certainly infamous, I would say, Big the Cat. This is Chaos 6. Chaos with the power of the six of six of the Chaos Emblems. Just one more and he'll have reached his final stage, so let's put a stop to him while we can. Just want to take one of those ice thingies, I'm not really sure what it is, throw it in his mouth and then attack him. You just gotta keep doing this a couple times and eventually you'll get rid of it. No way. I can't believe this. And even though we keep doing this every time, Dr. Robotnik still can't believe this. Uh -huh. 
Okay, sometimes this final hit is a bit hard because he starts throwing in a lot more of these guys. Oh, gosh dang it. And that might actually be it. We didn't actually get to see any of Chaos Six's attacks. Eggman, where's this? Trying to show me something. And yeah, we can now play as Big the Cat. Anyways, welcome to Lost World. I would make a reference to the video game Sonic Lost World, but I haven't personally played that. From what I've heard in reviews, uh, Sonic Lost World is an okay game-ish, and that's honestly how I feel about this level. Like, it's okay. Like, there are some good moments, some moments that aren't that great, like this hallway. There are some cool parts like this, where if you go really fast and don't bump into the walls, the camera looks really cool. And then there are also parts like this, where you can just fly over that and land in the spikes. Uh, yeah, that. Uh, okay. Some, like I said in the first episode, Sonic's Spin Dash can be extremely broken, and there's another instance of that. I just flew straight over the entrance to that and clipped through the wall, because I because they just didn't assume that people would be able to do that, obviously. But yeah, so our goal here is to light up those three lights over there by pressing these three switches. And in order to do that, we have to keep raising the water level and get onto this. I don't know if it's supposed to be like a lizard or... It's probably supposed to be a snake. Duh, me, because it's, you know, a serpent and it's long and its eyes look all snaky-like. Anyways, that's light number two. Now I just need to look for the red one. Gotta go around. Hop on top. And then... I wonder. Now, I know the moral of this is... Okay, yes, I did do it. The moral of this series is... You know... Don't try to do stuff that you're not supposed to do, but I actually pulled that off. I'm not going to try to spin dash over onto the snake thing, because I'll admit the snake thing can be kind of finicky at points. I'm just going to hop on and... Just try not to move while you're on the snake, because it has, you know, these little... Not really, like, guardrails, but... 
it's little things on the side to make sure you don't fall off. And as long as you just don't try to overcorrect yourself, then you should be good. I missed that checkpoint. No, I'm actually gonna go back because sometimes this section can be a bit tough. And so I'm just gonna stick along the wall and try my best not to die. There we go. I might be a bit too far away from my microphone, so if the audio's my the audio on my mic is a bit more turned up than it usually is, then my apologies for that. So the gimmick here is you want to shine the light into these little mirrors over here, these giant mirrors, and that'll help light up the room. It's pretty interesting, I gotta say. Not much more to say other than that. While I'm just moving through here, I'll just talk to you guys for a bit. I remember going through a lot of... I don't know how to phrase this correctly. Phases? In school? Like, not like... The typical, like, emo, edgy phase, because I never had one of those. But I had phases where I was, like, for a year I was, like, really into yo-yos, and then for a year I was really into card tricks. Like, I remember uh, back in elementary school, I was, uh, for a year I was signed up for the Boys and Girls Club. And I was so notorious for, I don't know if that's the right word, I was so notorious for playing with magic, playing with cards and stuff like that, and playing card games and using cards to for magic tricks, that some of the people at the Boys and Girls Club actually bought me my own deck of cards. So that's pretty cool. So now we've got this section right here where you're running away from a boulder, kind of like Indiana Jones, I think. I've never... There are a lot of classic movies that I really need to see. Like uh, Indiana Jones and uh, Top Gun, and there was another one that I really need to see. Uh, what was it? If if it comes to mind, I'll tell you guys. But there are a lot of classic movies that I haven't seen that I really do need to see. Uh, like the uh, Truman Show. I don't know how old that movie is, but from what I've heard, it's really amazing. So I'm gonna. You know, I might check out that movie sometime and maybe let you guys know. I have a second channel, by the way, so that channel is just basically I do whatever I want. This first channel is for Let's Plays only because, you know, that's something that I've always wanted to do. And then my second channel is just for me doing anything that I want, ever. I don't post to it much, but recently for Spider-Man's 60th anniversary, I did a reading of... Amazing Fantasy number 15, which was the first comic book that Spider-Man ever appeared in. So, go check that out if you want to. Enough plugging, though. Let me just get back to interesting stuff and not sucking. I'm just going to wait for a sec because I don't want to accidentally get hit by the fire and stuff. Plus, there should be a checkpoint, I think, at somewhere close to here. At least we got some rings, so I know we're okay on that front. I can take a hit if I need to. Although it's not favorable because we're when you're in those right up against the wall sections, I think if you get hit you just fall straight down to the bottom and you gotta go back up all over again, which is extremely annoying, I gotta say. I don't remember much of this stage. I think I'm going the right way now, because we've got this light speed dash thing. Okay, light speed dash. Don't screw me over, okay? Thank you. Okay. That was a really cool section. And that leads us right to the end. Yes. Yeah, not bad.
What's this place? Where am I? This is really weird. What was that all about? I don't think I'm dreaming here. Hmm? Eggman! What's he doing here? Well, never mind. This time I'll get him good! And get him good we will in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. In the next episode, we're going to go ahead and follow Eggman to his secret base deep in the jungles of the Mystic Ruins. And we'll just see if we can beat him. I'm pretty sure this next episode will be end, the end to the Sonic to Sonic's story, but it won't be the finale to the whole series. Of course, we'll just keep on going with Tails' story and then Knuckles' story and then so on and so forth until we reach the final story, which I won't spoil the name Better of. Get going. I don't know if it's really a spoiler, but... Eh. And then, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye.